What's up guys, Sky Kevin here, and today we're going over an intense look at many of the different ammunition types in Last Basis, and weighing out which ones offer the most economic damage to resource costs, as well as usability and situational encumbrances. So, let's get started. When fighting enemy walkers, there is no doubt in my mind that the current meta is using ballistas with bolts for enemy legs and scattershot for enemy wings. Then, usually once the walker has been disabled, fire bolts are used to burn into the walker's cargo or to completely destroy it. There are plenty of different weapons and many variables that may make one ammunition superior to another in that instance. Here, however, we're strictly looking at a few factors. Damage, which is the most important factor overall, resource cost, weight, and quantity. In this comparison, we're looking to see specifically which of these has the best effect at dealing damage to the hull of the walker. This means anything that can deal damage to a robust type, and most everything that we'll look at are some of the more overlooked ammo types that have recently been updated to now deal 10% damage to that robust armor. By comparing each of these types of ammunition between one another, hopefully we can garner objectively which is the best one to use when dealing damage to the walker hull. For this reason, there will be some types of ammo that I don't include because we are looking at damage as the most important factor after all. I began by looking at the total damage of each ammo type based on the crafted amount and to total damage if all of that amount were used. So for example, when you craft darts or floating mines, every craft will give you 8 shots of that ammo type. In this case, floating mines deal 150 damage times 8 because there are 8 of them per craft, meaning they will also deal 1200 damage per craft of the recipe which at 10% damage to robust will do a total of 120 damage per craft. Essentially, that's how we can standardize all of the different ammo types. Conversely, something like flint bolts simply crafts one at a time, so we can then match them up accordingly. Flint bolts deal 125 damage, which works out to 12.5 damage to robust per craft. So when looking at all the ammo types at face value, we can see obviously fire bolts deal a swift 850 damage per bolt, the next highest being floating mines at 120 damage per craft, and scatter shot at 96. But Let's keep in mind, despite the damage difference, we are also looking at other factors like the resources required and weight of the ammunition. To go into detail on this, I wanted to compare similar damage to resource cost ratios to see whether there's anything that might turn out technically better. Seeing as the current meta uses mainly ballista bolts, I wanted to start there with comparisons between the different types of bolts. By taking bone bolts at 15 damage per craft, it takes 2 wood shafts, 3 bone splinter, and 15 fiber. To craft a flint bolt, it deals 12.5 damage per craft and takes 2 wood shafts and 5 stone. Additionally, I wanted to see whether weight would be a large factor in the ammunition, and so it worked out to be 0.3 and 0.7 kilograms respectively per crafted bolt. Then, I simply had to find the equilibrium between the two and update the resources and weight required to fit the number of shots needed for that damage amount. In this case, we can see that bone bolts at 187.5 damage will take 25 wood shafts, 37.5 bone splinter, and 187.5 fiber while weighing 3.75 kilograms. The flint bolts, on the other hand, at 187.5 damage take 30 wood shafts and 75 stone with a total weight of 10.5 kilograms. I think by visualizing what's on screen, it can help for you to decide for yourself which of these resources is more costly to obtain. To have the same damage between the two ammo types, you can either use 25 wood shafts, 37.5 bone splinter, and 187.5 fiber, or 30 wood shafts and 75 stone. If we wanted to, we could cancel out the 25 wood shafts for the 30 wood shafts and instead put 5 extra, but for simplicity sake and many of the future examples, I'm not going to include that. Now, as an aside, we could go into further detail and also break down the exact resources required for things like wood shafts to just simple amounts of fiber and wood, but other than factoring in the extra gathering and crafting time, I think it would also only complicate things for this purpose. 
So now that we know all this, and can compare them in simpler terms, I can say that in most cases I'm fine with using flint bolts, and would probably use them over bone bolts in most situations, at least when it comes to opening a walker hull, despite the weight difference. Because even after needing 1200 of them to deal 15k damage to a walker, I would say that it's much more costly to come across the resources required to make bone bolts than it is for flint bolts, and you're not really getting that much more of a damage increase. Now keep in mind, as we compare further, we will have other options that may be better to choose from. So let's carry on and compare the next tier up. When looking at bone bolts versus ceramic bolts, by taking the base damage and finding an equivalency, in this case at 247.5, we can see that the bone bolts take 33 wood shafts, 49.5 bone splinters, 247.5 fiber, and weigh 4.95 kilograms. Ceramic takes 30 wood shafts, 15 ceramic shards, 225 fiber, and weighs 3 kilograms. In this case, depending on your access to ceramic shards, it may compare better in both resource cost and weight to bone bone bolts ratio. Bone bolts are also 1.65 times heavier than ceramic, so in this case it's quite clear to me anyway that ceramics are generally better than bone bolts. As another quick comparison, if we then look at ceramic versus flint, there's definitely a case that flint bolts, although easier to make, will prove a logistical challenge given that they are 4.62 times heavier than ceramic. Obviously, when it comes to the amount of shots needed, there's a factor there as well, given in every walker fight, every shot counts, and having to shoot an extra bolt every now and then can be important in which walker is going to win the fight. That's why, generally speaking, I would focus on using things like ceramic bolts when you're in a walker fight, then leaving the flint bolts for once I've already disabled the enemy walker. This is more a matter of time versus resources used in this case, and we'll see this in quite a few examples later on. Just always keep in mind that for these examples, there may be this trade-off that you have to make. So we've established flint bolts are generally speaking the most economic choice for dealing damage to a walker hull. Now let's compare to a completely different ammo type, darts. When comparing an equivalent damage of 300 between the two, flint bolts take 48 wood shafts, 120 stone, and weigh 16.8 kilograms, whereas darts take 12.5 wood shafts, 62.5 fiber, and 12.5 stone, and weigh 60 kilograms. Already, we can see a huge difference in the resource cost to damage done. Darts clearly take far less in terms of the actual resources to damage, but we do have a caveat. The weight of the darts are 3.5 times heavier than flint bolts. Additionally, at this point, every dart deals only 3 damage to a walker hull. So in this comparison, we're looking at how fast can you shoot 24 flint bolts versus 100 repeater darts. So once again, time and weight versus resource cost might factor in. Further, if you're using an exosuit to shoot the darts, it can save a lot of time there as well, making it a little less painful to shoot so many. Still, if you're using darts on 15,000 HP for the hull of a walker, it will take 5,000 darts, which can be a bit much given logistically that's 10 full ammo chests and 3,000 kilograms of weight from your walker. Still, in this example, chances are if you're using flint bolts, you probably have things locked down already in the fight. So a step over to darts might not be so bad, and an excess suit shooting 100 darts out of both hands might actually be as fast as shooting those 24 flint bolts to reach the same damage amount. Now let's continue on to the next example and look at darts versus scattershot. Seeing as 4 crafts of darts are equal to 1 craft of scattershot, it's a pretty simple comparison. At 96 damage, darts take 4 wood shafts, 20 fiber, 4 stone, and weigh 19.2 kilograms, whereas scattershot takes 20 stone, 4 fiber and weighs a total of 1.8 kilograms. So once again, I'd say darts still win out over scattershot over the resource cost to damage ratio. They are quite a lot cheaper. However, in this case, ask yourself, how quickly could you shoot 6 scattershot versus 32 darts for the same amount of damage? Couple this with the fact that darts are 10.6 times heavier than scattershot, and they are in my opinion a much less realistic ammo type, as opposed to scattershot, which given the low weight, high damage, and still moderately good but not better than darts resource to damage ratio, they are probably one of the best types of ammunition to use when you are trying to damage the hull of a walker. I think what's interesting with Scattershot is that it was recently nerfed to deal far less damage to hardened structures, namely walker legs, but they never adjusted the damage to robust percentage, so it still sits as a great option to damage the walker hull. 
Though, that being said, how does Scattershot, having won out so far, fare against the current gold standard, which is Firebolts? When comparing these two at an equivalent damage ratio of 816 damage, Scattershot, for that amount of damage, takes 170 stone, 34 fiber weave, and weighs 15.3 kilograms. Firebolts, on the other side of things, at this same amount of damage of 816, takes 4.8 wood shafts, 11.52 fiber weave, 1.92 earth wax, and 2.88 Rupu gel. Plus, it weighs 0.96 kilograms. Obviously, you'll notice in this example, I scaled the damage downwards for simplicity's sake, but as we can see, there's quite a large difference in the resources required, and it's really up to your interpretation as to which one wins out on damage to resources. On one hand, it takes a lot of stone, wood, and weight to use the scatter shot, especially considering it weighs 15.9 times more than firebolts. But on the other hand, firebolts take extra wood shafts, earth wax, and rupu gel, which is obviously a very time-consuming resource that requires very hands-on farming. So once again, stone and fiber weave versus wood shafts, fiber weave, earth wax, and rupu gel. Now, keep in mind, firebolts do also take about 10 minutes to fully burn, whereas in this example, you're shooting about 51 scatter shot to reach that same equivalent damage. So time factors may be negated depending on how many firebolts are necessary for that walker. So let's move on to some other less popular options. Looking at the siege ammunition that isn't generally used in the current meta, if we take scattershot, match that up versus small boulders at a damage equivalency of 432, scattershot takes 19 stone, 18 fiber weave, and weighs 8.1 kilograms, whereas small boulders take 144 stone, 19.2 fiber weave, and weighs 2.88 kilograms. This to me was a very surprising result because the resources required are very, very very similar, albeit the higher stone cost, and yet the small boulders weigh 2.8 times less than scattershot. So from a logistics perspective, carrying small boulders to damage walker hulls isn't really all that bad, especially if you consider stone an easy resource to farm on mass. Keep in mind that small boulders are only shot out of a sling, and in this example you need to shoot 9.6 boulders for every 27 scattershot that you're using. So chances are it will be slower, especially if you're using the slingshot, but not by much. I will Mention the tooltip on the small boulder says it deals damage based on the speed of the shot from the sling, and I'm using the tooltip stated damage amount for this calculation. But keep in mind that it could be more or less depending on the windup that you're using with the sling. I haven't done any solid testing for this, so it's purely speculation at this point. Moving on, we also have the catapult boulders. When we take a direct comparison of these versus scattershot, we can see that a damage equivalency of 672 for scattershot takes 140 stone, 28 fiber weave, and weighs 12.6 kilograms versus catapult boulders, which takes 192 stone, 19.2 fiber weave, 172.8 fiber, and weighs 19.2 kilograms. Ironically, in this case, the catapult boulder actually fares a lot worse than the smaller boulders. It's heavier, takes more resources, and it takes 10 very slow to reload catapult shots compared to the 42 scatter shot that can be shot quickly. In this case, I would say the only advantage to using the ammo type is the range at which it can travel being quite a lot further away and the possible splash damage the boulders can have to other objects or players on the deck of the ship. Lastly, let's look at how Scattershot can compare to a fan favorite, Floating Mines. At a damage equivalency of 1,152 damage, Scattershot takes 240 stone, 48 fiber weave, and weighs 21.6 kilograms, whereas Floating Mines takes 76.8 wood shafts, 307.2 feathers, 115.2 lava, and weighs 46.08 kilograms. I was quite surprised to find out that floating mines end up weighing more than scattershot, and the resources required between the two ammo types are completely different, so it's difficult to say and probably depends on your accessibility to a lava tile for those ingredients. I would say that these two are fairly similar, other than the floating mines weighing twice as much. They're just so different in pretty much every way that I wouldn't necessarily knock one or the other. It just comes down to the circumstances of the battle at that point. Just for fun, I did want to compare darts versus firebolts to see how they match up given it is technically the best damage to resource ratio. I was not surprised to find out that at 2,040 damage, 510 darts would take 85 wood shafts, 425 fiber, 85 stone, and weigh 408 kilograms. Whereas the 2.4 firebolts to have that same equivalent damage would take 12 wood shafts, 28.8 fiber weave, 4.8 earth wax, and 7.2 rupu gel. 
Already we can see that, quite obviously, shooting 510 darts might be far more tedious than 2.4 fire bolts. But this does raise another question in my mind, one that sparked the idea for this video in the first place. There are many different ammo types that we've seen, and knowing the strengths of one over the other can really help your decision making process when you're using them in a fight. Let's remember that you're not just forced to use that one single type of ammo in this game. If you're sitting there, staring at fire arrows in the side of a walker for 10 minutes, why not spend that time with your crew using scattershot or darts in tandem to save a few fire arrows in the long run? If you're clan has 5 players with the right setup, they can burn through a lot of ammunition very quickly with things like exosuits, remote ballistas, and sinus destroyer potions. Realistically, you won't be putting 10,000 repeater darts on your walker just so that you can zero one ship. But why not a couple of repeaters or scattershot just in case? The ammunition used is objectively more efficient than the current meta. This can even extend to other circumstances. If you're in a large walker fight, put a couple of repeaters on deck to harass walkers from a distance. The ammo is so much cheaper that it doesn't matter if you miss 90% of the shots, and you won't have your crew wasting the more expensive ammunition on Hail Marys across the map, while still harassing the enemy. Indeed. Some of the more larger walkers, such as the Panda with 24,000 base weight, it might not be so bad to have slow moving ships with so much repeater ammo that other walkers aren't even interested in coming close to you without getting hit by something. Now, that being said, I'd love to pass that question off to you now that you're aware of the differences between these ammo types. What would you fill your walker with, and is there any merit to using something other than firebolts to attack a battle or proxy walker? As always, I'm constantly making more videos on Last Oasis and other MMOs just like this one, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos, as I'm sure there will be meta and balance changes in the future that need updating. I hope you found this talk interesting, and maybe learned something along the way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.